It's my pleasure to welcome you to the segment in conversation with Lauren Capital, the appointed managers of the Negative Investments SA Equity Fund. I am your host, Mansoor Nock of Negative Investments. And joining today is none other than one of the co-founders and current portfolio manager at Lorium, Mari Winkler. Mari, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks, Monsieur. And good morning, everyone. Great to be here. Mari, you and the team recently celebrated the 15-year anniversary since the inception of Lorium Capital, growing the firm from about 100 million, I believe, to close to 50 billion rand worth of assets under management today. Congratu- congratulations on the fantastic achievement. Mary, you initially started off as a hedge fund business, but today the long only side comprises most of your product offering in terms of AUM. So to start off, perhaps some of the reflections on this journey since you started the business and how it has evolved. Yeah, so as you say, when we started out um, just over 15 years ago, uh, well, I personally thought that we would just be a hedge fund business. So that's how we started out. We started up with 100 million rands um, from 12 investors. And in hedge funds, a pretty bad start because we were six weeks before the Lehman's crisis. So that was quite a shock to the system. Um, but we managed to survive that and then do um, pretty well. And, but after four years, we found out that we just weren't getting much hedge assets in. And at that stage, decided perhaps we should get into long only as well. And we started with a flexible fund. So that's, that's 10 and a half years ago. Um, and that fund has grown, done very nicely over time. And then a year later, we went into long own equity. And then a couple of years later, multi-strat. So as you say, our business today is um, we run 4 billion rands in hedge, um, which, is, which is about 8% of our assets. We do Africa. Um, and our total assets, primarily long only assets, are r- r- running just over eight, 50 billion or so. Thanks, Mari. With the genesis of the business being in hedge funds, has that influenced the way that you and the team manage money on the long only side? I think uh, what's quite different of the team, Gavin and myself, my partner, is we came from stockbroking, then investment banking. And because of that, I think we we sort of where we're slightly different is the capital structure. We pay a lot. Um, We were involved in a lot of underwritings, capital raises from the investment banking backgrounds there. Um, So we do play quite a bit of that. Uh, Special situations, event driven stuff is always on the hedge space. So it's not as easy to do that on the long only side. Um, but we still have a little bit of that that comes through um, into our long only portfolios, but probably more so in the hedge than long only. Thanks, Mari. Mari, Mari you started, started your career as an analyst back in 1989. So you have quite a rich history in the markets. What are some of the lessons that you try and impart on the team at Lorium? I believe it's quite a high performance culture. You have about 19 investment professionals on the team. So, you know, as one of the sort of old statesmen within the company, what are some of those lessons that you try and impart? Well, I think I think in I mean the first thing um, is to understand sort of summarizing markets, what are markets about, and understanding that, um, sort of trying to simplify that is that, and it comes back from um, Benjamin Graham, who had this theme about which Warren Buffett later came through with as well, is what are markets about, and I think it's, it's sort of the old adage: in the short term, the market is a voting machine. So sentiment moves markets up and down, quite extreme, uh, but in the long term, it's a weighing machine. And they said you weigh the earnings over time, and that'll drive share prices. I think more apt though is to say you actually weigh the cash flows to, to refine that. Weigh the cash flows over time. So fundamentals drive markets over time, but in the short term, you can get huge fluctuations and quite significant deviations from what you think is fair value. So that's one of the things to understand. And then the other thing to understand is that, which sort of drum home is, Anyone can have a view on a stock, and to remind people, you've got 50% chance of being right. Either the stock's going up or it's going down. So you need zero skill to say the stock's going up or down. And over time, it is very difficult. You you are unable to be right all the time. But if you can get 60% of your calls right over time, um, you're going to be in the top quartile, maybe even top decile. So literally in the financial markets, what you're doing is you're playing for 15%. So that's what you, all the skill, all the people in the market, that's what you're trying to do. So you just need to try and be better than the others out there. And if you do that, you're going to be near the top. So that's, that's the theme out there. And I think to be humble in markets, because you get, you do get a lot of things wrong. Um, That's one thing, um, having been in markets over 30 years um, through a lot of different cycles. Sometimes you're going really well and 
Um, skill does come through, but sometimes there's also a bit of luck that comes through. I think bring it back to markets, and as you just mentioned, you've been in the markets for over 30 years. You've seen a lot of things, a lot of challenging markets, various crises unfold. If we look at the state of SA markets today, and as one of the multi councillor managers on the Negative Investments SA Equity Fund, just your thoughts on the state of local markets today in terms of opportunities. Wh wh what do you think about you know running an SA, uh, SA Equity Only Fund? So look, they're, they're, I mean, the first thing to understand is that the SA market does have a lot of global stocks in it. So when you think SA, it's not just SA. Um, you've got the British American Tobaccos, the Richmonts, um, the Global Miners, which is very much China. You've got Nus, uh, Nuspers, China. So we are very much emerging markets and driven by the China component. Um, and then we've got some defences, the AB and Bev, AB and Bev's um, British American Tobaccos. So. Pure SA, domestic SA, is probably only 30%. The banks, insurers, um, the, the industrials, and property. So <coughs> it's a small component. So we're driven, the factor is very much global, what happens, and then there's the local component. And in the local component, I mean, SA for the last seven years has probably grown at 1%. So it's pretty low growth, which does have a big impact on the bigger companies. So it's quite slow growth, but... Our valuations are where we sit at the moment and the outlook and a lot of negative sentiment. The valuations are pretty low. Bond yields are high, 12%. Um, um, for instance, you take the banks. I mean, you can buy something like an apps on a six times multiple, um, sitting at a 8.5% forward dividend yield. Standard Bank results last week, they're still growing very strongly, 30 plus 30% 30 first half um, with quite a lot of Africa. But for the full year, the next they'll probably end up 20%. And you can buy that on a seven, seven and a half times multiple, and um, you're getting a, a sort of a 7% dividend yield. Um, so bond yields, we think, are too high. Um, if bond yields are 1% lower, you'd get a sort of, your cost of capital will come down quite a bit. And I think that some of the domestics, banks, um, and to a degree, the, some of the insurers, um, Sunlum looks pretty attractive. Um, they look they look pretty decent, better than some of the international stocks, we think. So in a nutshell, basically too much pessimism currently priced into our markets. Um, for the long-term investor, you think there's probably an opportunity, you know, just looking at the sort of our domestic challenges and, you know, low growth, low trading, all of those factors factoring into our market. Look, there's a lot of reasons you can be negative in South Africa. I mean, you look at the current account now, which is um, sort of last year was flat. This year it's probably going to be a sort of 2.5% deficit, a budget deficit because the mining tax take is down. It's quite negative for this year. But I think a big positive is um, with all the solar solar and, and clean energy that's going into our market. So the fixed investment spend from that is pretty big. Um, we have a very low fixed investment ratio in South Africa, running at about 13 14%. We need to be at 20 to 25% because fixed investment expenditure drives growth long run. So we've been very low, but there is the relaxation for the private sector means there's a lot of money going in. And the load shedding issue will get, should improve quite a bit in back end of this year and into next year. And with that fixed investment spend, I think you, your growth, you could bounce back from probably around half a percent this year to sort of maybe one and a half percent next year, maybe two percent if we're lucky. Um, and I think the va market valuations are fairly depressed. So it's, it's sentiments is a little bit negative on some of the domestic stocks in our view at this stage. Marty, in closing, as we mentioned at the beginning, 15 years in the business in terms of loading capital, where do you see the next 15 years going? That's a long, long time. time. Um, yeah, I, th I think we have we have 38 people in the business. Um, I mean, we've done pretty well since we started. And I think the important thing is to look after our clients' money, custodian. It's our purpose to look after the clients' money in a in a in a uh, ethical way. Um, we're driven to perform, so we have a, a great team. Um, and to try and ensure that we, we have a passion about the business, trying to grow and to compete and perform. So if we can continue to grow, making sure we generate alpha over time, we should hopefully keep growing our business. Well, that's certainly born out of the long-term track record, I think, of the negative investments, SA Equity Fund. I think to the last end of the last quarter, uh, you've generated about 8% annualized since inception. So certainly something commendable. Thank you so much for, for that, Mari. We appreciate your time. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, man. Sorry.
Thank you so much for joining us. Till next time, goodbye.